what is up guys welcome back to another video i'm inside my jaguar xf um if you've been following the channel i took the dash to get it repaired and i finally got it back and i went ahead and did some other things as well uh, i don't know if you've seen my previous video um i started wrapping this car and i'm gonna show you guys in a second i just wanted to show you guys how it looks like after all this here's the dash it has been repaired as you can see looks really nice one thing i went ahead and did was i wrapped this chrome piece with the carbon fiber you can see it looks really nice i couldn't get this panel to line up with this one that's why you guys can see this gap right here but I'm gonna fix it later on. I'm pretty sure I can fix it. I heard this is a common issue. Once you take this panel off, it's really hard to get this to line up with this one. But honestly, I like it a lot. It made the car look a lot more modern. I don't know if you guys can see it. It almost looks real. I'm gonna order a custom um, steering wheel along with some carbon fiber paddle shifters so that's going to complete the interior and then this is the view from the rear seats a lot of space back here this is a really spacious interior and let me tell you guys about that other screen I went ahead and added this other screen right here and this controls my AC system uh, where's it at? this is what it had before as you can see it just looks outdated so I went ahead and added that little touch screen right there and it works perfect so these two touch screens are linked to the car they both do the same things they're both Androids. I turn on the car. So there they are. Here's the here's the AC system. You can turn off the turn on the AC and stuff. Your heated seats and all that. And it also turns into um, to an Android. As you can see, really nice shows you the temperature right there 87 degrees this does the same thing this one this is my radio right here uh, this one has the GPS and all that backup camera they both work backup camera it's on this one as you can see this one works too uh, I just don't have a camera for this one yet I'm gonna get another camera and this one's gonna this one's going to show the front view of the car, and this one's going to show the rear view. Like I said, they're both linked to the car. And this one shows the parking sensors as well. This one only shows the, the rear view. So they both work really nice. Vehicle settings, as you can see, you can change a whole bunch of things. But mainly I use this one for the AC system. And honestly, I think it looks a lot better. It made a huge difference to the interior. So yeah, that's the interior. Now I'm gonna shut it off. Van still work. So I'm gonna shut it off and uh, show you guys the exterior. Well, here, here it is. This is the color that I went with. Check that out, guys. Looks really nice. I used to have the same color and wheels on the Forza Horizon game, and it looked really, really good. And here it is in real life now. Got the front bumper spoiler from Vehicle Revolutions, and the hood bin from Vehicle Revolutions. Got the side skirts on the way, so 
This car is not completed yet. As you can see, it already looks amazing. So can't can't wait to to see it when it's all when it's all done. It's just crazy how nice this car looks compared to when I first got it. If you guys remember, if you guys have been following the channel, um, this is a base model XF. And um, honestly, it looked boring when I first got it. But now, oh man, I just want to drive it every day. Performance, the looks. I just, I love this car. I'll never get rid of this car. Let me give you guys a little side view. Oh, I still got to do the, the door handles. I'm not done with the door handles yet, but that's really easy. Here's the side view, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete the chrome. All this chrome is gonna get deleted, and then I'm gonna polish the roof. I'm not gonna wrap the hood. Uh, this is gonna get polished, so it's gonna look glossy black. That's the rear. 